All right, well, I had such good luck with this uh, hand crank Van de Graaff generator um, that uh, I made out of a soda bottle and a uh, stick pin, plastic PVC stick pin with the guts out of it, a rubber band, and then a uh, glass fuse with the guts out of it at the top. Uh, it just worked really good. And you have a, a wire that picks up the bottom negative uh, and then a brush at the top that gets the positive. And with the triboelectric effect, you build up a charge on the top can here. And it's, it's a Van de Graaff generator. So anyway, after that success, and um, that's when I built it right there, Today's a little later on, a week or so later. I decided to build another one, but a little different. And uh, this one uses a pill bottle and the same kind of a stick pin with the fuse inside and a little soda can. And then my little uh, student volunteer up there at the top for the top load. And I powered it with a little motor. Initially, I was just running this by hand and it worked uh, kind of nice and I thought I'd put a motor on it and it worked out so good I thought I'd do a video on it and it's it's actually pretty impressive um, considering what it's made out of and it's just a uh, one of these uh, plastic stick pins which I believe is PVC it's a rubber band and then a fuse that you take the guts out of it put a paper clip through it and build it up inside a pill bottle uh, wrap some tape around the end of a motor. This is a 12 volt motor. Stick it in the pin. And presto, you have a Van de Graaff generator. Let me run this up. I'll show you how it works here. And it puts out, I think, about 50,000 volts. It gives me about a half inch spark. And it runs this motor wirelessly. You can't see the spark, but you might be able to hear it when it pops. And this is going good. It's almost half an inch that I get a spark out of this thing. Unfortunately, you can't see it in the daylight. But uh, anyway, I thought that was pretty neat that you could use such a simple structure and uh, build up one of these uh, Van de Graaff generators with just a motor stuck on the end of that pin and run them through the bottom of a pill bottle and uh, make this Van de Graaff generator powered. So anyway, that's just what something I wanted to share was you can make these Van de Graaff generators out of some very, very simple elements. And uh, they're actually pretty darn potent. Thanks for watching.